one, guys. Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome to Saturday. I hope the morning is treating you well. I'm really excited to bring this to you guys because it has some cool surprises in it. I wanted to go through like presents or things that are good to give to people who are going into surgery, who are dealing with chronic illness or pain or just like really sick because there are like things that are commonly given and sent which are super, super nice and super awesome like flowers or chocolate or cards and those have always brightened my day. And there have been things that are more specific that I've been thinking about lately. If you're looking for something good to give someone who is about to go through a major surgery or like I said, dealing with something more chronic, here are my recommendations. So number one, kind notes. You guys have seen me talk about these before. I was given this by my friend Erin and I'll show you what these are all about. Now, the reason why I really, really like these is because it's something that I could look forward to every day. So in these tiny little envelopes, you will find really, really cute little sayings. Like this one, I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And I know that some of this might seem cheesy to some people, but honestly, like reading that and thinking about it in the morning and thinking that, okay, well, I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm recovering from surgery or I'm sick or whatever, but this is where I am. I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And I just need to focus on today and that's it. It was really, really uplifting to me. And something I'm super excited about with this is that I reached out to Kind Notes to ask if they would be willing to partner with me for this video. I am getting absolutely nothing from this. I want you guys to know that. But they have been so, 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 so kind to offer to give you guys two of these jars. So if you want to comment below and then like their page on Instagram, it's Kind Notes at Kind Notes. That's all you have to do to enter. And then I will announce the winners on Monday. You can send this to yourself or to a relative, a friend, a family member, someone struggling with something. And the cool thing is that they cover a wide range of topics. It doesn't have to be someone who's sick. If you just need encouragement or you're just going through something or anything like that, their notes are A, super cute, and B, cover a really wide range of topics. Also, super cool, if you enter Team Joe at checkout in the discount code section, you'll get 15% off. So that's really awesome. Again, I don't get anything from that. Uh, it's just 15% off for you guys. I feel really bad destroying this poor puppy, but he just tastes so good. So I know that I told you that I've recovered from at least 10 ankle surgeries, a wrist surgery, a knee surgery, heart surgery, so I've had my fair share of surgery recoveries. You would think I would have figured this out before then. Having a fridge within arm's reach, because I was recovering on this couch right here, has been the most helpful thing during this surgery recovery. So if you or someone you know is going to be out for a while, like on a couch, in bed, anything like that for more than a week. Having a mini fridge close by is just been such a gift because then I don't have to bug my husband to get me water all the time. It's right here. That way I'm also not putting myself in danger trying to hop up the stairs there, uh, which, you know, I still do because I need coffee. But on bad days, and especially when I was first recovering from surgery, I didn't actually have to move really at all. I'd have to get up to go to the bathroom and that was it. So this was a huge handy dandy investment. I think this fridge was like a hundred bucks, but you can definitely find smaller ones for cheaper. Definitely worth it. So it looks like Sadie and Sadie's tennis ball are gonna join us for this next shot. Let's see if she can catch it. Let's see if she can catch it. Yes, good girl. Okay, so the next thing that I would recommend over Sadie's chomping is good ice packs, and here's why. A lot of people just use ice, which is awesome. Um, it's super effective. However, for recovering from surgeries, injuries, or just having chronic pain, ice can really help, but having ice that's easy to put on and lasts longer than just melting ice in a Ziploc bag, which can also leak and get really messy, is incredibly helpful. It's also a lot easier to change out and to keep on with Velcro straps like this, like this one from Thera Therapack, I think that's how you say it. I found this on Amazon, I'll just provide the link to where I found it on Amazon. I have, I think, three or four of these now. Having a variety of these kinds of ice packs was really helpful as opposed to just trying to keep filling ice cube trays. So I'm kind of cheating and working two recommendations into one, but along the same lines, having a really good heating pack is super, 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 super helpful. And this one is electric or electronic, oh, electric. We're gonna go with that. Um, it just plugs in to my outlet right next to me. I don't have to worry about like heating it up in the microwave or anything like that. A lot of people use like rice bags or stuff like that. Again, works really well, but if you're sick, if you're not feeling good, if you've got a migraine, if you're recovering from surgery, if you're on crutches, 
it's really hard to move back and forth. And so having something that's right here, you don't have to move to use it, works really well for me. The ones that I have in particular are by Pure Enrichment. They've worked fantastically for me. Again, not sponsored at all, but um, they turn off after two hours if you want them to. They have different heating levels and they have enough like space to actually heat whatever you need it to. But the reason why I so strongly recommend these to anyone who is recovering from surgery, dealing with chronic illness, chronic pain, or knows anyone who is, is because if you're laid up for a long time, if your injury needs ice, that still means that you're staying in one place and other parts of your body get sore, other parts of your body hurt. Like I have chronic neck issues and laying down all the time makes those worse. So for like the first three weeks of surgery, I was pretty much on the couch 24 seven. So I had this um, on my neck often because heat helps that or your back starts getting sore. The hot and cold to change back and forth with has been really helpful in having good products instead of having to go back and forth between like the microwave and ice cube trays is so helpful and really a gift to have. So what's this you may ask? Well, this is Pugsy. He is not a fourth dog. He is a perfect pet. If you look closely, actually breathe. Now, I realize that may be creepy to some people, but hear me out, it's actually really relaxing to watch. My mom got this for me in a little shop and I've linked the website where you can find them down below. They're really, really calming to watch. They just sit there and they breathe and you don't have to take care of them, so it's like having a pet. It's not really like having a pet, but it's kind of like having a pet. But watching something cute and soft breathe next to you um, is really relaxing. And so they're about 40 bucks, I believe, and uh, they're a great gift to give to yourself or someone you know who is sick or having surgery. So the last thing that I would recommend is an Audible subscription. I have had this uh, for myself for about two years now. It's $14 a month or I think about 25. I'll link in the description down below. But this is basically just audiobooks. Um, you get one audiobook a month for the lower price or two for the higher price. I end up going through way more than just one a month. I listen to all different kinds of things, but I'm right now listening to Girl, Wash Your Face, which is by Rachel Hollis. I didn't really expect to like this book, but I like it a lot more than I thought it would. The reason why I strongly recommend audiobooks is, I mean, of course it gives you a chance to learn something new, but it also gives you a break from just like constant screen time. You know, if I'm recovering from something or if I'm laid up, if I'm not feeling good, I end up watching a lot of TV, of movies, of shows, things like that. And it's a good break from that. Also, as a side note, you may wonder why I didn't just recommend books in general. First of all, books are awesome. Buy people books or get yourself books. I love them. But when I was initially recovering from surgery, I was way too out of it to actually like focus and read words on a page. So if someone is really not doing well, if they're not feeling great, if you're not doing well, if you're not feeling great, um, I found that books were a little too challenging for me, like for the first three weeks to a month. Um, so audiobooks were the way to go. Also, just a quick update for everyone who is asking. My leg is okay. I went to the doctor about that abscess or cyst or whatever it is. Weird. The weird thing is it's not actually any of the above. Um, it's really irritated, it's really swollen, it's not getting better, and he said just to like stay off of it, keep compression on it, do some massage, and hope that it gets better. Um, I can't have my leg recasted, I can't walk in my prosthetic leg, I cannot do anything on it until it gets better, which is frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Um, everything is just like stopped, there's no forward movement, but everything is temporary, right? I know that, I know that it's going to get better one way or another. He said that surgery could be on the table for it, like if it doesn't get better, um, but we're not gonna go there right now. Like, that's not gonna happen, fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully it will get better just by me taking good care of it, and I will take good care of it, because I wanna get back to things as soon as possible. Please enjoy the rest of your Saturdays, my friends, and like I said, I put links to everything I mentioned in the description box below if you wanna check it out, if you're interested. I love you guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>